Linux Lewis had a glass jaw. If my grandmother hit him on the chin, he probably hit the floor. The road of the ran, all time greatest lightweight. Prince Nassim was whack, all the hype was fake. So last night, right, after Anthony Joshua pretty much got the beating of his life against Daniel Dubois in front of 96,000 people, Eddie Hearn gave some interviews and basically let the world know that Anthony Joshua does in fact have a rematch clause to fight Daniel Dubois again if he chooses to do so. So with Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren being friends now and Turkey sort of mediating, even if they're not, and they're all part of this little Saudi bubble kind of thing, you would have thought that a rematch would be a done deal, like a given. Like Anthony Joshua is definitely going to activate his rematch clause. He wants a chance to become three-time heavyweight champion of the world. They believe they can beat Daniel Dubois. Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't think Anthony Joshua believes he can beat Daniel Dubois after that performance. So I'm not convinced that Anthony Joshua will activate the rematch clause. Now, some of you are going to say, what are you talking about? Anthony Joshua always activates his rematch clauses. And that's true. Anthony Joshua, up until this point, whenever he loses a fight, he activates his rematch clause. He's done the same with... Andy Ruiz Jr. He came back. He was able to rectify that. He saw a way where he can, you know what I mean, make some changes or whatever and get that win. He done it, and that's history. He won the fight. He got his titles back. Alexander Dusik. He didn't really want to take the first fight. People will tell you otherwise, but realistically, he didn't want to take that fight. If you listen to Eddie Hearn's interviews around that time, they were willing to vacate the WBO if they couldn't get the fight on their terms. Well, luckily, they got the fight on their terms. Anthony Joshua lost the fight, activated his rematch clause. I'm guessing he thought he could do something different in the rematch. Turns out, he couldn't really do that much, and essentially, he lost the rematch. Now you got this one, right? Anthony Joshua was soundly beaten. Like, when Andy Ruiz beat him, AJ was still in the fight. Like, first three rounds, AJ was winning the fight. Then he got clocked. Then people will say, oh, he was concussed. So, from there on onwards, what happened, happened. But skill for skill, he could do something. Like, he could outbox Andy Ruiz Jr. We've seen that he can put him down. He managed to get him down with a bit of power in the third round before he went down himself. So, there's ways you could see Anthony Joshua beating Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch. Some people may have saw ways that he could have beat Alexander Usyk in the rematch. I ask you this question. Who the hell out there thinks Anthony Joshua can beat Daniel Dubois in a rematch after seeing what you saw last night? And the answer to that question, in my opinion, has to be not many. Because how can you justify saying Anthony Joshua is a live dog in the rematch after you watched what you watched last night? As far as we know, he didn't have any injuries going into the fight. Eddie Hearn was saying that camp's going good or whatever. I don't know what he was saying, but he was suggesting that this version of AJ is 100 times better than the version that beat Vladimir Klitschko. Well, he didn't box like it. I know that much. So what can he do in a rematch differently to change the outcome of the fight? I mean, if he was on his bike, maybe he would have avoided the knockout for a little bit longer. But any time Daniel Dubois got in range, he was a stronger fighter. He was a smarter fighter. And he was landing more meaningful punches. I don't see how Anthony Joshua encountered that, to be honest with you guys. And given the landscape and the way boxing is, I don't think Anthony Joshua can survive a second knockout defeat in a row to Daniel Dubois. So then comes the rematch clause. You'd think that the right thing to do would be to accept it, rectify the mistakes, go back in the ring and win the fight, become three-time heavyweight champion of the world. But I don't think there's anything to rectify. I think it's a case of... Daniel Dubois might just have his number. Sometimes you come across people like that and they're just going to beat you 9 times out of 10 or 99 times out of 100. And I suspect that Daniel Dubois might be that guy for Anthony Joshua. And the reason why I say that is nothing AJ was doing was working in there. And even when he did have a little bit of success, that wasn't even really working in there because he hit him with a right hand or two and you'd have thought, oh, here we go. Daniel Dubois is going to be in trouble now. But 15 seconds after AJ connected with that right hand, Daniel Dubois knocked him out. Now, psychologically, I don't see how Anthony Joshua can come back from that. It's a hard pill to swallow, in my opinion, because you hit the guy with your best shot. You kind of maybe wobble him a little bit, maybe buzz him a little bit. Then you go in for the kill. Next thing you know, you're doing rolly polies on the floor. I can't see AJ activating that rematch clause, or at least not straight away. Knowing him, he'll probably need another confidence builder or something. I just don't think he's going to go there. A bit like... Carl Froch, when it comes to rematching Kessler, no problems. He knew he could win that fight. But when it came to rematching Andre Ward, he didn't even mention that rematch because he knew the guy had his number, if you know what I mean. So I suspect there's going to be a bit of that there. Or if they do get in the ring, it may be further down the line after Anthony Joshua's had another fight or two to build his confidence levels back up. But who cares about his confidence levels? Like, that was a confident AJ in there yesterday. It doesn't make any difference. The platform was there for him. The crowd was there for him. Everything was set up for him to perform on this night, make history, go down the history books. He couldn't do it. He got knocked out dirty. And now there's the rematch. 
I don't think he's going to take it personally. I don't know about you guys. If you've got any opinions on it, feel free to share them down below. But for me, I just don't think AJ will fancy it. It is what it is. Just my opinion. You're more than welcome to your own. Laters.